Yes, you read the title to this video correctly. The brand that makes so many amazing EcoDrive solar-powered watches also makes automatic watches. We have the Citizen Kuroshio 64 dress watch in today's video, and it is an automatic dress watch. Thanks for stopping by today to the Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. I'm excited to show you this piece. It's one that rivals the Seiko Presage line. This is a stunning textured dial dress watch, and this watch has a unique history that is connected to it. We'll get into that in today's video as well. We're going to do a full review of this watch, try and give you all the details about it, and I'm going to let you know if I think it is a good purchase or not. So please like the video, and we'll get over and start the review right now. All right, well, here it is. Here's a nice close-up of this beautiful Citizen Kuroshio. And I want to jump in with a little bit of the history of this watch, something that I don't do too much on this channel, but I had to share a little bit about the history of this cool piece because you start off and you think, man, this is just a knockoff of the Seiko Presage, but it goes a lot deeper than that. It's not that at all. This watch is actually paying tribute to a citizen of the past. It's called the Citizen Parawater from the year 1959. That Parawater watch happened to be the first water-resistant watch from Japan. It was rated to only 5 bar, but at the time for the Japanese technology that was out there, that was amazing. Uh, now the Swiss, they were they were quite a bit ahead of the Japanese with their water-resistant technology, and, and Japan was kind of catching up. But the para water played an integral role in that water-resistant technology that Japan was coming out with. This watch, the Kuroshio, it means black current, and it refers to the ocean currents that flow past the coasts of Japan. Now, 64 refers to 1964 when a survey experiment was done by the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force and the Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology, where they placed buoys. They released these buoys into the waters of Japan, and each buoy had a citizen para water attached to it in order to showcase the watch's water resistance. After the tests were completed, each watch that was recovered was fully functioning. And so the showcase of that para water's water resistance uh, proved to be successful. So this watch, the Kuroshio 64, is paying tribute to the para water of 1959, which has a pretty cool history attached to it. This Kuroshio is limited to 1,959 pieces in remembrance of the year 1959 when the Pear Water first came out. I'll leave some links down in the description below where you can read up more on the history of the Pear Water and uh, this watch right here, the Kuroshio 64, and I'll, I'll give some credit to the articles where I learned some of that information. Pretty cool history. Let's jump into the specs and features of this Kuroshio 64. You can see the model number there. It's using the Citizen Automatic Movement, the 8310. There is a domed mineral crystal on this watch. The case material is stainless steel. Case diameter is 41 millimeters. Case thickness is 12.5 millimeters. Lug to lug distance is 49.9. Lug width is 20 millimeters. Band material is a genuine leather. And water resistance on this one is 50 meters, just like the old para water. And the weight uh, of this one on this strap came in to be right around 72 grams. Now, I want to talk about that Citizen 8310 movement that is in the back of this watch. It's a 21 joule. 21,600 vibrations per hour movement, and it's hand winding, hacking, and has a nice power reserve of 
about 60 hours. So that is pretty good as far as the power reserve goes. Let me uh, move the camera down here, try and zoom in a little bit as we talk about this piece. I think it's just a go gorgeous watch. I really do. It's, it's really stunning. First thing that catches my eye is that textured dial. Uh, but let's talk about the case first on this watch. You can see that it's, it's got a mix of polished and brushed surfaces. The sides of the case have a really nice satin brushing and that brushing moves along to the top of the lugs as well. And then you get a nice polished bezel. You also get a polished portion in between the lugs and then there's polishing on the screw down open case back as well that is pretty much completely polished. I'm glad they went with an open case back so you can see the movement working there in the background and it is protected by a mineral crystal. Moving on to the crown of this watch, I think the crown fits perfectly and I think it's really a gorgeous looking crown. It's a simple push-pull crown but it has this nice diamond shape to it and it really hugs the case of this watch just right. In the zero position, you can wind this movement. You know, first position, you can adjust the date. And last position, uh, uh, you know, you can adjust the time and it hacks the movement as well. Very easy to use and the crown has a nice polished finish to it. The crystal on this watch is nicely done. Gives it that vintage inspired feel being that domed, domed mineral crystal that is there and you get some distortion with that crystal as well. Um, the dial. We have to talk about the dial. I think the dial is the reason you would buy this watch if you were going to buy, in my opinion. It's got a beautiful texture. It's re really hard to film on my camera down in here in my amazing high-tech studio in my basement laundry room. But uh, you can see some of the texture there. Originally, when I looked at it, I thought, hmm, I wonder what they would call that or what it's trying to display that texturing and originally I thought it kind of looked like uh, the lines on you know the palm of your hand or something like that but with the reading and the history behind this watch uh, they're going for the waves and the ripple pattern that you might see in the ocean and so now that I know that, I can see that a little bit. But it is a cool, unique texture uh, to this really deep colored green dial, which is also hard to pick up on the camera. There are these gorgeous arrowhead indices on this watch. Uh, another one of my favorite parts of this watch. Just look how they play with the light when you move this watch around. They're multifaceted. They have a brushed top to those arrowheads and then the sides are uh, high polished and it, it really plays nicely in the light. You get a Applied Citizen logo there. Uh, you do get some nice Dauphine style hands, uh, nice silver toned second hand as well. And you do get a date, nice framed out date window with a black back background and white numerals, uh, which is very legible. I think it could be a little bit bigger, but that's just a minor gripe. And I also think the minute hand could be a little bit longer and reach out farther to the tick marks on the chapter ring, but that's another minor gripe that I have. Overall, I think the dial of this watch is absolutely stunning and really, really beautiful. Definitely rivals the Seiko Presage line that is out there, but it's not trying to be that in any way. Now, although this is a dress watch, there is some loom. Those loomed pips that you see on the outside of the dial uh, are there, and then also the minute and hour hand are loomed. So I'm gonna charge up the watch here real quick with my UV flashlight, and we'll check and see how good the loom is. Well, there you go. It's, it's kind of rare to have loom on a dress watch, but I think they've done it pretty well. It's not overpowering, but it does come in handy. 
at night when you're trying to read your watch. Well, let's move to the strap on this watch. Citizen paired this green dialed Kuroshio with a beautiful brown genuine leather strap. Has that faux crocodile look to it, which is really nice. Right out of the box, this strap is very pliable and comfortable. It has some cushioning here in the upper portions of it. It does have one floating keeper that is moving up and down over here. And then they went the extra mile and included this really nice double deployant butterfly clasp with this strap has some branding there and it's really really works well it's high quality has some decoration there on the inside uh, but just really easy to use and a nice touch with a nice watch like this one so talking about the price the msrp on this watch believe it or not is over 500 us dollars now, don't pay that price. You can find this watch on eBay in the 300s and 400s. I found a good deal on this watch. I think I paid 319 for it. Uh, there have many different uh, color variations, dials. I think five different colors. Some are on bracelets. Some are on straps like this. But all of them are really nice pieces. I'll leave links down below where you can find these watches on eBay. Well, I'm going to get in front of the camera now and share my final verdict about this Citizen Kuroshio. So what do I think about this Citizen Kuroshio 64? Well, I think it is a stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, textured dial, automatic dress watch with a vintage feel. And I really do enjoy the history that is connected to this piece. It's not just a, a watch where you, you look at it and say, oh, they're copying the Seiko Presage. No, it goes a lot deeper than that. It goes all the way back to 1959 with that Citizen Para Water. This is paying tribute to that. So it's pretty cool to have that history connected to it. I did have some minor gripes with it. Uh, the major thing being, of course, not having the Sapphire Crystal, but um, you know, the Seiko Presage doesn't have that either. Uh, overall, I think if you bought this watch, you would not be disappointed. But the burning question is, which is the better watch, this or the Seiko Presage? Well, we're going to answer that question in an upcoming video. We're going to do a full review on the Seiko Presage first. After that comes out, eventually we're going to do a head-to-head -head battle, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. But please, let me know down in the comments what you think about this Citizen automatic dress watch, the Kuroshio 64. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. And if you liked this video today, please help out the channel by letting us know and hitting the like button. It really goes a long way and we really appreciate it. Share the video with your friends as well. That always helps out too. Thanks for tuning in. That's it for today. We'll see you next time here on the Town Watch.